What's up guys it's Skillo Junior with another tutorial and in today's video I will show you how to use the radial gradient. If you're new here please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. There are two ways of doing this. Leave a comment below telling me which one you prefer. Now create a new layer. Select any size you want and click on create make sure your color mode is RGB if you won't be printing your work. Now select any color of your choice and click on OK. Press the ALT key and backspace to fill in the background. Now select the ellipse tool, hold the shift and drag if you're using an older version of Photoshop but if you're using the latest version just hold the alt key and drag for a perfect circle. Fill in the shape and drag it to the center of your design. Now rasterize your shape layer and go to filter. Select Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. Here you can choose to increase or decrease the Gaussian Blur depending on your design. Click on OK. Now reduce the layer's opacity. Now we are done with the first method please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. Create a new layer and click on the lock icon. Right click and select blending mode. Tick gradient overlay and double click on it. Now select the color you want. Click on linear and select radial now drag the scale to the left or right till you're cool with the radius sizal. Drag the radial to the center. With this method you can reverse that is changing the background color and the radial color by just clicking on reverse. This comes handy in some projects. When you're done click on OK. Now leave your comments below and tell me which method you prefer or you think is the best. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any question you can ask me on Instagram just search for Skillojunior.